Welcome to Let's Play Need for Speed 2, Episode 5. And so, four courses are now down, and officially, we have just two courses left. And boy, are both of these courses going to be ordeals. Trust me. I've tried this already. But anyways, it's time for us to head over to our fifth track in this game, which is Mediterranean. The ancient roads of this tiny island will challenge even the most advanced drivers as they wind their way past crumbling ruins and through claustrophobic village streets. Successful racers must become intimately aware of the many perils on Mediterranea or risk becoming part of their own Greek tragedy. The turquoise waters encircling this island contain secrets and treasures of many past civilizations. But don't be too distracted by the beautiful Mediterranean vistas, or you may just wind up ancient history <laughs> yeah I said I didn't think this course has already made me ancient history before but yeah also furthermore I should probably note that overall it doesn't look like the uh, Ford GT90 strat is officially going to work for this course so I think I'm going to go for a slower car for this course because it doesn't look like high speed and poor handling is officially going to work for this course and most of these cars I've already, I've already used so I think I'm going to use let's see, which one of these two cars has better handling? You know what, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go for the Ital Design Collar. Because I have a feeling that might be my best choice for this. And even though it doesn't have have the acceleration or speed, it does have stronger handling. I'm using this thing. Created by world-renowned design house Ital Design. The Cala represents the latest in Italian automotive styling and construction, as its curvaceous lines and performance will attest. Ital Design's prototype Cala features a strong carbon fiber body, an experimental aluminum chassis, and a removable Targa roof for open air driving. Powered by a new Lamborghini 4 liter 400 horsepower V10 engine, the six speed Cala can reach 60 miles per hour in five seconds and claims a top speed of 181 miles per hour. The luxurious upholstered interior is built to seat two adults and two children. And as with many supercars, the Cala comes with accessories such as custom fit color keyed luggage and a high end stereo system. So now I'm just going to show off the video. Honestly, that video is actually even better than the Ford GT90 video because, well, I only really got some average shots on that, but anyways. So the Ford GT90 Strat did not work and it looks like for this course, like I said before, high speed and low handling will not work for this course. Believe me, I did try, but... That doesn't mean I will not use the GT90 before this tournament is over, but I just don't think it's going to be suitable enough to get around a course 
such as this one. So I've ultimately decided I'm going to use the Ital design because I have a feeling this car will probably be easier to get around this course than the GT90 was. Literally every time I enter that corner, I just cannot get through it without spinning or crashing. That's literally how annoying that corner is. Honestly. What the fuck? is wrong with that corner. I just literally cannot survive that corner no matter what I do. It just literally eliminates me every time I try and enter it. Even if I do get a clean entry, it's always going to eliminate me once. And that's probably the main downfall to this course. Now from here I just have to hope that everyone else wrecks, and then I can focus on being up. Anyways, I am now up into 7th position, and once again the fucking jack is just causing me issues. It's just causing me issues I don't want to deal with. But I think for this one, I'm not going to restart because since I'm actually closing up to the field this time, I might have a shot of winning this if I do not get completely annihilated up to this point. And the Esprit is just not letting me through. I do consider that a bad play. I am so glad I was able to wreck. Oh, for fuck's sake! Why do I always have to shift down into first? I think it's clear I cannot get going again without spinning in first gear. And that was not as terrible as I thought it was going to be. But again, I'm still not happy with this because I still end up getting fucked anyway, even if I do manage to survive what is probably the worst corner on this course. I just fucking hate it. Well, at least I know that since it's a long course, might be able to get around at this time. I mean, I'm certainly having an easier time of actually getting around these corners than I did with the GT90, there's no doubt about that. Probably because this car is a lot slower, but somehow it is still physically capable of actually getting through the corners without spinning pretty much every fucking where I go. I'm now moving up again, because I'm now up into fifth. Now I just gotta get past these two jacks before they fuck me. And that's exactly what I think they are going to do to me. Or maybe not, because I just... Oh!
Okay, that was the least painful entry I took through that corner. Because even though I still hit the wall, somehow I did not hit it as hard as I did on the previous attempts. But, this is now the third lap, and I'm hoping from here that I might be able to get myself something reasonable. Come on. Okay. They did not block me this time. Which is something I'm actually relieved for. Come on, don't try the inside. Don't try the inside. Well, at least it didn't... Well, at least it didn't hit me before he made his move, so... At the very least, I can respect that. Even though, of course, if I cannot respect it, of course. Yeah, I can honk my horn too, asshole. I don't think I'm not already infuriated enough with what this course has already done to me. Now I have to get past these two jacks again. Come on. Okay. Somehow, in spite of me having a terrible start to the previous lap, it was still good enough for a PB. Somehow. Probably because I did not die as much. I was very much anticipating that would happen. No. Don't you fucking dare. Do not try one of your dirty tricks on me this time. You better not pull that shit on me. Although then again, I'm still at the top speed deficit, because that is where I just get absolutely squashed. Yeah, I couldn't think of anything else, I'm sorry. I couldn't think, I couldn't think of anything else to say that actually made sense, but yeah. I have a massive top speed deficit. Although, fortunately for me at least, the Esprit pretty much has the same thing. Plus, furthermore, if you think tournament in this game for me is interesting, then you ain't seen nothing until we get to the knockout stages of this game. Because that is going to be even more of an ordeal. Also, furthermore, I've now taken the lead. Maybe I might be able to do it this time. As long as I can avoid making mistakes. Come on, come on. Best lap. Okay. I have proven it. It is doable. I just needed a slower car. Congratulations, you have won the race. Yes. Okay, thank you for yet another password I am probably never going to remember. Congratulations, you've got a top time for this track. Alright, now I'm just going to put in my name. Oh, okay. Not exactly what I was expecting, but... Okay, whatever. Eh, whatever, I'll accept J. So in second was the Isdira 112i, then in third it was the Jag XJ220, followed by Crash in the second of the two XJ220s. His Nitrous was fifth in the other is Dira 112i. Zippy was 6th in the Lotus Esprit, 
And we also had another Ital design color in this game, driven by, sorry, in this race, driven by Blur. And then at the back, it was Nemesis in another Ital design color. Well, at least I managed to succeed. So not as much of an ordeal as I thought it was going to be, in spite of all the crashing I did throughout that race, but somehow I still won the race. Don't know how, but I still did. And my best lap came on my final lap. Alright, so five courses are down and just one course remains, and that is Mystic Peaks. Boy, is that going to be an ordeal. And I think I know precisely which car I'm going to use for that one. Because I have a feeling it's the only way I'll get around this particular course. But, there we go. And officially, I am now going to save my progress. Save records. Because that's just what I do. And I'm also going to save my tournament progress. Alright, so that was Mediterraneo. And now. We have just one course left in the tournament, and that is Mystic Peaks. Boy, is that one going to be interesting. But we shall wait and see. But of course, until then, stay tuned for more Need for Speed 2. And more trial and error.